And now to present our nonprofit of the year, please give a warm <laughs> Nice. Hold hold on. Please give a warm round of applause for Shandara Gill. Okay, for anyone who thought they were short. There we go. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's get real. There are a lot of nonprofits in Santa Cruz County. A lot. In fact, Santa Cruz County has the most nonprofits per capita in the state. <laughs> I lied a little bit. We're actually in second place. Marin County's first. <laughs> Aw, I know. So it makes this particular award show that's honoring innovators, risk takers, and movers and shakers, all the more of a celebration. So, speaking of risk takers, I want to talk for a moment about my dear friend, my brother from another mother, Danny Wright, <laughs> founder and executive director of Gravity Water. Well, <laughs> woo! While the rest of us are celebrating with our friends and our loved ones and really excited about that time off we get from work in November and December, Danny Wright is in Nepal and Vietnam and <laughs> building rainwater filtration systems so that hundreds of school children have clean, permanent, excuse me, permanent access <laughs> to clean drinking water. Yes, round of applause, right? <laughs> So when I first met Danny, I met him because I was reading a Santa Cruz Waves article, and I called up Danny and I said, I want to throw a fundraiser for Gravity Water. He's like, really? He's like, yes. And from there, a beautiful friendship was born, where nonprofits can come together and they can celebrate each other and really honor the risk takers, the amazing risk that it takes to start yet another nonprofit in Santa Cruz County to be able to do what we love and serve the people that we want to serve. And particularly for Gra Gravity Water, that's a local nonprofit making a global impact. I feel so excited to be able to present this award to y'all. And Danny, like you know, from one executive director to another, we would not be able to do it without our amazing team, right? that can move transformational change actually forward. So I also want to acknowledge Tyler, Alexandra, Anders, and Nicholas, who works in Nepal. Thank you all for your work and your service. I know that Gravity Water is, if not an entirely volunteer-based organization, mostly volunteer-based. And I so, so appreciate all the work that you do. So thank you. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Now, I could go on and on and on again about this organization and really truly how amazing they are, but you right now can actually go on your phone and go to Instagram and like Gravity Water right now. <laughs> this is a nonprofit hustle, y'all. Actually do it. <laughs> because when you're liking an organization, that impact spreads and it grows and other people are starting to see the impact that this amazing organization gets to have throughout the rest of the world. You can also go online and make a donation. This is also the nonprofit hustle. Yes, I'm doing this right now. Y'all gave me a microphone. So you can also go online <laughs> and make a donation so that hundreds more children have permanent access to clean drinking water. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome Danny Wright. <laughs> to accept the award on behalf of Gravity Water. She's an amazing woman. I just uh, met Shawnee right when I got back from my trip from Vietnam and Nepal, and we hosted an amazing community fundraiser uh, surrounding yoga. She's actually the executive director for Yoga for All Movement which is an amazing organization providing yoga to underserved communities and really creating a space for people to get engaged that wouldn't normally have access to it. So thank you, Shawnee, for the amazing introduction. And as she mentioned, um, with most nonprofits and most work, it's not me doing the work, per se. It's my amazing team, and I have some of my team members here if everyone in the Gravity Water team could take a stand for a second. Yeah. 
So you guys, you guys have believed in me and in my cause from the beginning. And I could not be up here. And more importantly, we could have not have provided thousands of children with clean drinking water without you guys. Um, I love you and I appreciate you and I'm so grateful for you guys. So let's give them one more round of applause. Thank you. So two years ago, we came up with a really simple idea to um, solve a really big issue around the world and that's the global water crisis. It's the reality that almost two billion people around the world don't have access to clean drinking water. And we had a solution that we thought might work. Um, it combined rainwater harvesting, elevated storage, and gravity-fed filtration, which allowed communities to use the resources they had on site to create a sustainable source of safe drinking water that wouldn't get them sick and wouldn't cause waterborne illness and death, which is a huge problem around the world. Like Shawnee said, sometimes these things take risk. And when the earthquakes hit in 2015 in Nepal, I headed out there and I took that risk, not knowing if the system would work. After five months and getting this idea and actually turning it into a reality, it was pumping out 1,400 liters a day of clean drinking water, completely energy free. And that's when we started Gravity Water because we knew we had a way that communities could create their own access to safe drinking water without dependency on foreign aid. And so since then, we've worked in Vietnam and Nepal, and in the last 18 months have provided 5, 000, over 5,000 children and community members with safe drinking water. And I'm, I'm so honored to be up here representing Santa Cruz for this award because I grew up here. Um, I've worked in local nonprofits for the last 10 years, and I really believe the Santa Cruz community is one that's based in social justice and environmental health and empathy and caring about humanity. And I know our ties and care and our empathy extend past our borders here in Santa Cruz. And what we're trying to do here is we're trying to serve as a bridge to allow our amazing community to make a bigger difference in this world. And I'm so thankful for all of you who have supported us. You guys are the reason we've been able to make this work happen, and we look forward to growing in the future. So thank you all. Yeah.